Dear viewers, greetings. In this present video, we are going to see about germ tube test. The aim of the germ tube test is to identify and differentiate the Canada albicans from other yeast. And next, the principle uh, the germ tube test is the confirmatory test which is used to differentiate the Canada albicans from other yeast. The germ tube formation was first reported by Reynolds and Brandy in the year 1956 so it is also called as Reynolds brandy phenomenon and next uh, germ tubes are a short outgrowth and non septate germinating hyphae uh, they are of the width and three to four times the length of the cells uh, from which they arise uh, when candida albicans is grown in human or sheep serum at 37 degrees celsius for three hours uh, they form a germ tube which can be detected with their wet films as filamentous outgrowth uh, extending from the his cells. And this germ tube test is positive for Candida albicans and Candida dublensis. And next, uh, approximately uh, 95 to 97 percentage of the Candida albicans uh, isolated develops the germ tubes when incubated in a proteinaceous media. And the formation of the germ tube is associated with increased synthesis of protein and ribonucleic acids and germ tube is one of the virulence factors of the uh, candida albicans and this germ tube test is a rapid test for the presumptive identification of the candida albicans next the materials required for the germ tube test are a sheep serum or human serum test tube wooden applicator stick microscopic glass line cover slip pasta pipet micro pipet and microscope uh, procedure uh, first add about 0.5 ml of uh, sheep serum or human serum in a test tube and after that with a sterile wooden applicator strick uh, lightly touch a yeast colony and then place the strick into the serum uh, too large of an inoculum will inhibit the germ tube formation uh, so it should be avoided and after that uh, incubate the tubes at 37 degrees celsius for two to four hours and after incubation uh, place a drop of suspension on a clean microscopic slide and cover slip it and finally examine the wet mode microscopically for production of germ tubes and next observation and results in positive test a short hyphal filamentous extension arising laterally from a yeast cell with no constriction at the at the point of origin a germ tube is of the width and three to four times the length of the yeast cells and there is no presence of nucleus and the candida albicans and candida dublensis showed positive reaction for the germ tube test uh, this image shows the uh, germ tube formation by the candida albicans and next in negative result uh, no hyphal or filamentous extension arising from a yeast cell or a short hyphal extension and constricted at the point of origin and the species like candida tropicalis and uh, candida glabrata and other yeast species uh, shows negative reaction for the germ tube test dear viewers thank you for your support thank you